Hello, and welcome to the Daily Gas for July 23rd, 2024, called Round and Round by Philip Newman. Normal Sudoku rules apply. Between lines, digits along a line must have values strictly between the values in the circles on the end of that line. Quadruples, digits in corner circles must appear in the surrounding four cells in some order. So what does that mean? Well, we have these, uh, I guess, okay, not all the quadruples have between lines on them, but we have these between lines, very short between lines in this case here, but all we're saying is if I put a 1 here and like a 5 here, then this value must be 2, 3, or 4, the values that are between 1 and 5. So 6, 7, 8, 9 wouldn't be allowed here. Um, and that is true for all the between lines throughout the grid. Then for our quadruples, for example here, 2, 3, 4, 5. All that's saying is the digits 2, 3, 4, and 5 must appear in these four cells. So for example, placing 2 here would break this quadruple because 2 could never appear inside of these cells. Same thing applies over here. Even though there aren't four digits, we know that three of the digits must be 1, 2, 3, and the last one could be anything as long as it doesn't conflict by Sudoku. And that's it. Those are the rules. Let's jump right into it. Alright, so right off the bat here, this is actually really interesting. So the only way this works is if this is 1, 4, and this is 2, 3. And probably we could do this with any of these, right? 6, 3. So this would have to be 6, 3. This would have to be 3, 4. 4, 7. This would have to be 4, 7 with 5, 6. And this would have to be 6, 9 with 7, 8. So we have that same pattern running around for all these between lines and quadruples. Um, kind of getting a little bit of a of an X windmill vibe here. So we'll see if uh, if that's how it plays out. But in any case, 1, 4, 2, 3. 2, 3 actually creates a pointing pair here, pointing at this here for 2, 3, 4, 5, which means this must be 2, 3, which means this must be 4, 5 here. But the fact that 2 appears on the between line actually means we need 1, and this can't be 1, so this must be 1, which actually sets the order of our 4, 1 here, which says where does 1 go in this row? Well, we know it can't go inside of the quadruple area, so 1 must go here. Probably can do the same thing down here. 9, 6, this is 7, 8. So where does 7, 8 go? 7, 8 goes here. We need a 9. 9 can't go here because it would break the quadruple. So this must be 9. That sets the order of our 6, 9 over here. Where does 9 go here? 9 must go there. And yes, very, very much X windmill vibes going on. So can we do better? So the fact that 2, 3 doesn't actually set the order of the 4, 5 here. This could be 4, 5 because 2 and 3 are between 1 and 4 or 1 and 5. So, hmm. <laughs> probably the obvious thing would be to look over here. For some reason, I've completely ignored that. And actually, the fact that 3 appears here says 3 must appear somewhere in this box. And, and further than that, quadruples stacked up like this kind of act in, in themselves as pointing pairs. So 3 goes somewhere in here. And we know specifically it has to go somewhere here. 3 goes somewhere here. We end up, well, not really pointing pairs. It's X-wing is what I'm looking for. So it acts like an X-wing pointing across. So 3 must go in the bottom row. Well, 4, 5, 6, 7, none of those are 3. So this must be 3. If that is the case, then we know that the rest of this must be 7, 8, 9. 9 gets placed here. This is a 7, 8 pair, which doesn't actually point to anything. Ah, but wait. 4, 7 gives us 7, 8 here. And probably we should be able to do the same thing over here if we think about 7, right? Wait. Yes, 7 is going to go somewhere here. So now we can actually see how this works. 7 gets placed here. 1 gives us 1 here. 3, 6 gives us 2, 3. And yes, X windmill is almost certainly happening here. Um, now... Six, six, four, five, four could be interesting. Ah, one, sorry. Where does one go? One can only go here. 
So probably where does 9 go, right? 9 can only go here. Um, 2, 6. All right, 2, 6. If this is 2, if this is 2, then this would have to be 1, which it can't be. So 2 either goes here or here. Hmm. Ah, but, okay, well, in X windmill fashion, 4, 7, 3, 6, what goes here? It must be 5. Six, seven, eight. Can I really not do anything with that? Ah, 1, where does 1 go? All right, where does 9 go? So now we're just missing 4, 6, and that's fully resolvable here, 4, 6. 6, we already knew 3, 6, went here. 3, 6, 4, 5, though, so now let's think about it this way. What are we still missing? Of 3, 6, 4, 5, we're missing 2 and 8. So, hmm. I don't actually know if that helps. If this is 8, this would have to be 2, 6. Actually, we know the order. It would have to be 8, 6, 2, because we already know 2 can't go on the between lines. So it would have to be 8, 2, 6. 8, 6, 5. It would have to be 5, because 4, 3, 2, 1 are all taken up. So, hmm. ah, 7. All right, we're completely missing the basics here. So, 7 points down here. So how do we place our 7, 8? It must be placed like this. And the fact that 8 is here now gives us... 8, 2. Oh, so this is either 8 or 5. That's interesting. Hmm. All right, we'll come back to that. 3, 3 gives us 2, 3. 2, I'm assuming if we looked across here, we'd still be missing 2 and 8. Yes. X windmill, once again, 8, 2. Um, 4 goes somewhere here. 8, 4 would require 2 here. Otherwise, we have options. Hmm. 7, 8. I already know 7, 8. And 5 or 6 both work as options here. Oh, wait. 8. 8, 7, 7, 8. And probably can do the same thing over here. 2. 2 gives us our 2, 3, 3, 2. All right. 2 now by Sudoku. We'll get 8 by Sudoku as well, thanks to our symmetry. 3 isn't quite as generous. All right. What are we missing? 5, oh, 5, 8, 9. 8, 9, 5. So this is an 8, 9 pair. Probably if we look over here, we're missing 1, 2. 1, 2, and 5. There we go. One two pair leaves us with three four three four six seven eight nine ah sorry two five how could six ever go here it can't this must be six same thing, how could 4 ever go here? It can't, so 4 must go here. So now we need 4, 4, 6, and 4, 6, and 5. So this must be 6 because it can't be 4 or 5. This becomes 4, 5. This must be 5. This must be 4. That makes this 6. In the same way, I bet if we look over here, we'll see the same thing going on. What's going to go in this column? We're still missing what? 4, which is the only thing between 2 and 5, as well as 6 and 5. So how's that going to work? Well, 5 must go in the quadruple, so it must be 5, 6 here, which makes this 4. And we are making our way through this. 4 is going to give us 4, 5. 3, 6 is resolvable. 3, 6. Over here... 4 gives us our 4, 7, and 6 gives us our 6, 5. 
then one, two, three, where does one go? One goes here, this must be three, this must be two. Three gives us our four. Um, what was it that we we're missing? Six and seven, right? Six, seven. Eight and nine, not quite resolvable, but it's seven, eight, nine across. Seven, eight gives us nine. Nine, nine, eight, eight, nine. This becomes seven. Eight, two, two, one. Two, one, one, and three. And then to finish us off, what are we missing? We're missing five still. So we got our fives in our corners. Um, I have placed this digit here on the other side. Then from the box, well, actually nine to match our one. We're not doing, we're not maintaining our full X windmill here, though we should because it makes things a lot easier. And then to finish us off, what are we still missing? We need seven and eight. We know the order eight, seven. And over here, it is two and three in the corner to finish us off in nine minutes and 26 seconds with Round and Round by Philip Newman. So, hopefully you enjoyed, and thank you for watching.